uh, your jazz encounter number two. And we're going to show these folks uh, what we've been doing here for the last, I guess, ten weeks, eight weeks, something like that since we did our first one. And today we're going to start with just sort of, you know, where we left off, which was getting these pairs going here. Uh, I lost my pointer stick, so drum and stick will have to do. Uh, the pairs, as we see here, da dee dee, da do do dee dee, hooking knees up and improvising on these pairs, hearing those melodies, using some rhythms, and moving it around the dominant circle um, in four bar phrases. Okay? You ready, Emily? Give a little whack there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little toot. Yeah. Okay. Kept that, you know, I know that bugs her. I say, yeah, right on. Mm -hmm. and it's like, mm -hmm. I, I screw and up immediately every time he encourages you. Yeah. But the thing is, is I think we can, you know, I know, as after having worked a long time, we crossed the threshold um, with these pairs. I mean, Emily is now making up music and it's really starting to happen. And the thing that uh, we've started working with is a little strategy I use, which is to organize these different intervals, like the pairs are two sets of major seconds, a fourth apart, that's the definition. And if you take and isolate each one of those dee dee da boo dee dee da dee da dee, and start working on those in between uh, each one of those intervals and then tying them together, etc., etc. That's what we've been Four. doing. that little setup, and those things are just dynamite. Uh, I gave Emily three keys to work in, and guess what uh, we're going to do now? Uh, and this is early on to start this, but why not? Uh, the one she was just working on was this one. And we also worked on this one, and we worked on this one, and if we put them together, here's what you end up with, and let's give it a little giant steps for mankind. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, Yeah, 
is keeping up with it. It's the idea. But she's got that melody now. And what Emily's learning to do is she's not thinking about these chord changes and so forth yet. I don't say that's not important, but for now, she's hearing melodies and she's moving melodies through these tonal centers. And that's what will win the bacon eventually. <laughs> now, we're going to move on in lesson one. That's sort of a, almost a review of the free lesson. So when you look at our free lesson and say, oh, man, yeah, I said, Sinaka, I'm ready to, you know, move on. Uh-uh. That free lesson is real. There's a lot of stuff. And when you look and see the checkup you need to take, you make sure, because that's what we just went through pretty much, is what you need to be able to do to just think about going to lesson one, because you're going to start adding and building vocabulary in this new lesson. And this is where the Rebbe hits the road for big time sure. Because adding one note to that pair is major, because then you're going to have to internalize, you got to find it here, you got to hear it, and it's a whole process. So this is our next little step here. Adding the third of these pentatonics, and I've got a little pattern that Emily's worked with, and she'll start with that, and then she'll do a little improvisation, as you can, and will, <laughs> and want to. Right, want to, yeah. That's mainly. <laughs> and I want to say, yeah! Good. Thank you. Four. <laughs> Because when you start having to make a decision in your mind between whether you're going to play major or minor, this is where the really the serious and quick response to what you're thinking, and this is the whole process of improvisation, of developing uh, a fast response and putting it out there. So it is a piece-by-piece process. The blue scales we haven't even really started on yet, so we'll, we'll save that till the next edition, and uh, we'll work on those, uh, going through and playing just blue scales and in and out of that. This is a major step, and that's why it's the whole first lesson is based on going from major to minor uh, <clears throat> uh, in, with these pairs and the blue scales, because you can interject these this whole little piece we're going to play, the Baby Mama Blues right now, is, uh, I wrote it with that in mind. So we're going to give you a little rendition. I'm going to let Emily stretch out a little bit on this. And... 